What's up, everybody? My name is Chris Mohead, a.k.a. Rob Savage, a.k.a. Robbie Sunflower. And we're here again with another episode of 600 Seconds with Hollow Art. And before we get started, I just want to say make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. But today we got a very special guest. Let me know what your name is. Uh, you can call me Get It Brown. G-E-T-T-I-T -T -T Brown, one word. Y'all give it up for Get It Brown. What's up, bro? How you doing today? Hey, bliss. I can't complain. How about yourself? I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing pretty good. I'm alive. You know what I'm saying? Um, so tell, let the people know what it is that you do, first and foremost. Uh, I consider myself an artist. Uh, I'm a manager on daytime, nighttime. Uh, you know, when I do my music, you know, music has been my biggest motivation. Okay, okay. Uh, how'd you get started with music? Um, music was my go-to when I couldn't talk to nobody when I was going through my struggles in life. So, you know, I had a dude that I grew up with. He was kind of old and he kind of influenced me with music. Right. Same, same here, man. That's how I started too. Like, on some like diary type stuff. Like, you got to talk to some, you know. Um, who are some of your biggest influences as far as music? Um, biggest influences as far as industry wise, I'm old school. So, you know, Pop, Biggie. Uh, yes, sir. UGK, Dirty Boys. Yeah. I'm Southern. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, where does the stage name come from? Get It Brown. Get It Brown. They come from the streets. The ladies. Okay. That's what the ladies call you. For sure. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so tell me about the song, Myself. What's the, um, meaning, the meaning behind that? That song, Myself, man, honestly, you know, uh, I ended up getting incarcerated in 2013 and came home two weeks later, I dropped the ball again. So I did seven years and all. Wow. Um, it was a self journey. Mm -hmm. Came home, did some things, was kind of codependent. Yeah. So if you want to find yourself, you know what I'm saying? You got to love yourself. Yeah. So that's where the song myself came from. I learned to love myself. Absolutely, man. I love that message, man. That's a dope message. A lot of people need that in their life, man, for real. I appreciate it. Yeah, straight up. Um, so what, what's it like working with Rich Boy Made It and Damn Hazel? Friends of the show, by the way. Man, listen. Rich Boy Hated It. Rich Boy Made It and Hazel, like, Rich Boy like a little brother to me. Hazel like a sister, you feel me? Like, yeah. they keep me motivated. Like, I already had kind of like a crazy grind, but like, with both of them, it's like it's a machine. And, you know, they, they, they keep me on top of my game. And I'm very appreciative and blessed. You know, little bro, he doing great things. He, greatness in the makes. Like, he already opening doors. So that's, that's one of my – he keep me going. Yeah, bro, he works hard, man. I just got to say, I think our New Year's show, we and everybody in here celebrating. This man off in the corner on the computer, like, editing the video. Man. I was like, this dude, he working, man. That's what's up. Listen. People dude. don't work like that. Listen, from videos to beats, he on top of even as an artist. Yeah, straight up. Um, what what project are you currently uh, promoting right now? What what you got in the works? Um, my project that I'm currently promoting right now is Restless. It's, it's gonna be coming soon. Um, I got a couple singles out already, but Restless that's gonna be my first mixtape EP introduction to the world because I feel like I'm restless. Yeah, absolutely. That first one, that first introduction, that's, that's, that's vital, man. First impression is everything, so I look forward to that. Um, what do you feel like would be your big I made it moment? You feel like you finally made it? Um, my big I made it moment? I ain't going to say when I signed that contract. Probably want my name on some deeds. Right. Got some properties in my name, you know. I don't did something for my hood and my community. Straight up. Yeah, commendable, definitely. Um, a little bit off of business. What's your favorite movie, man? What, like, what you watching? <laughs> Movie-wise? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't really be in the movies like that. Like, yeah. at one point in time, I was. I say right now, though, all-time favorite. I gotta go with Love and Basketball, bro. Love and Basketball? 
For sure. That's a, I mean, it's a classic. I just didn't hey, expect it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm a hood dude, <laughs> yeah. but you know, everybody want love, especially. You're right. You absolutely right. You're right. Um, if you could work with one creative, dead or alive, who would it be? One creative, dead or alive, Pimp C. Pimp C, the hey, legend, bro. the poet, Pimp C. Listen, Pimp just his grind. You know what I'm saying? Actually, the backdrop on Pimp C. Yeah. That's my biggest motivation. Two yeah. songs, three songs a day, like, yeah. Pimp ain't kill. Right. And one of the earliest, like, rap singers, too. Like, he used to sing. Used to, he had his own little groove, bro. Hey, Pimp been country, you feel me? I, I consider myself country, so, yeah. yeah. Straight up, definitely a legend. Um, what advice do you have for anybody out there watching that maybe wants to do what you're doing? My advice to anybody, no matter what, is just like my single, man, no matter what. No matter what you go through. You put your mind to it, you put your heart to it. Never let nobody tell you what you can't do. You always stay encouraged. You keep your head up, and more than anything, you pray. Prayer will take you a long way. Your blessings come when you get in the right position, so you stay motivated and encouraged. That's right, y'all can clap it up for that. Y'all can clap it up for that, definitely. Definitely. I love it, I love it. Man, let the people know how they can find you and support you, man. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, um, just type it in the name, G-E-T-T-I-T -T -T Brown, one word, all together. That's me. That's right. You got any final shout-outs? Um, you already know, Rich Boy made it, Damn Hazel, uh, Bam found ENT, and I ain't going to lie, you know, one of the biggest influences have been my auntie, man. You know, I thank, I thank God for my auntie. Yesterday was her birthday. You Happy know, birthday. She kept me strong. She keep a lot of things going on. She got a business, uh, Trip or Treats, you know what I'm saying? I call her Mama G, Auntie Nicole. I love her. That's my closest thing to her mama. Mama, I love you, but she ain't got nothing on Auntie. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Um, one final question. Yes, sir. Will you bless this stage with a performance for us tonight? Oh, most definitely. Y'all going to be blessed with a performance, and I'm blessed to be in the house, in my house. That's what's up. Y'all give it up for Get It Brown with two T's, one word. Appreciate you, bro. You can wait for me, I can get it together. Try to get my together. You can wait for me, I can get it together. Go find one better. I'm serious.